welcome to Learn Somatics. Today I want to show you how to release uh, the inner thigh, the groin and all the adductors on the insides of the, the leg. Uh, this movement is good, helpful for balance and um, once you've done it on both sides you should feel steadier on your feet and like your weight is distributed a little easier between your left and right side. So uh, yeah, if you're having, feeling a little asymmetrical, like you're not quite uh, landing the same on each foot, give this a try and see if it doesn't uh, help you improve that. Okay, so for this movement, we're going to be lying on our side and what we're going to do is you're going to let your bottom leg be straight and your top leg be bent. So arrange yourself in that way so you're comfortable and as I said, your, your top leg is sort of like a prop, it's helping you stay, uh, stay on your side. And just make sure that you are on your side, you're not rolled back this way or you're not rolled forward towards the table. Alright, so let's get myself ready. Once you're set, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with the bottom side leg. So my long leg is the one that's going to be doing the, the bulk of the work. And all you're going to do from here is you're going to, with your lower leg straight, your bottom leg straight, you're just going to pick it up into the air. And as you pick it up, you're going to feel how that engages your inner thigh. Okay? And also it'll engage your uh, waist here as well. So you're going to pick it up one time, stay there for as long as it takes you to be able to feel what's happening in the inner thigh and then slowly let your leg down. So obviously as we come down we're relaxing the inner thigh and the waist and as we come up we're contracting the uh, inner thigh and the waist. Let's try that one more time. So as we lift it up and you can lift it up just to whatever degree is, you don't have to super high just so you can feel the inner thigh working and also feel your uh, waist will get hard here that's exactly what you want and then come down nice and slow let your legs soften out and you'll feel your hip uh, waist softens out as well so just do that one more time gently lifting the leg feeling the waist get tight and then slowly coming back down okay so let's make this a little bit more involved now so the next time, what we're going to do, we're going to do as we've just done, lifting the leg, contract the waist, but we're going to add lifting the head a little bit. So as I lift the leg, now I'm going to pick up my head. And now I'm creating, uh, making it a full body pattern basically. So it's engaging more of my upper part of my trunk as well, my waist all the way down into the leg. And from there, you can come down again. Again, lifting the head, lifting the leg, and then slowly coming on down. Now, with the leg in this position and we lift, we're, we're going to hit the muscles in just one particular angle. So what you can do further is lift the leg and actually let the leg, leg drift a little backwards or forwards until you find a spot where there's more tension. So whether it's forward or back, if I'm coming forward, I feel it just about here. So what you want to do is from here, just come down, let your leg come down in this slightly more forward or back position. This helps us to aim into the tightest part of the adductors. Once you come down, you can repeat again, lift up the leg, and you might have to move it a little further to find a new spot. And then come down and relax and again you can add lifting of the head to that as well so pick up the leg pick up the head and that makes the whole thing a full body contraction and then you're just going to slowly as always slowly come out of it back to rest Let's try that with the leg going back just to see what we've got. So I'm going to pick up the leg and I'm going to send it a little backward. So I'm sort of swinging it slightly back this way. And you'll feel that in a different part of your hip and groin and maybe a little bit into the back of the body. Pick up the head and then slowly come on down. Then we'll just do that one more time. Picking up the leg, picking up the head, finding a tight spot by letting the leg drift forward or back. And it's starting to even up now, feels about the same everywhere. So I'm just gonna go in the middle and then slowly coming on down. Okay. Now, 
You can also, as you lift your leg, if you press this knee down into the table, that will also give you a little bit of uh, more contraction. What it'll actually do is it'll stabilize you and it'll get into the adductors of this leg. So the bent leg, now you're getting a little bit of a release into as well. And it'll make the whole thing feel a little bit uh, stronger and come down. When I say stronger, I mean more stable, more secure. All right, so just do one or two more. Lifting the leg, lifting the head, pressing the knee down. We're getting both inner thighs in a slightly different way. And we're coming on down to rest. And last time, picking up the head, picking up the leg, pressing the knee down. And then slowly relaxing to rest. So in this way, we're getting into our waist. We're getting into our inner thigh, into the groin, both sides, inner thigh, both sides, and a little bit into the sides of the trunk as well. And even in the neck, because we've been picking up the head. So once you've done that, you can lay out flat. And see how that feels through the inner thigh on both sides and the groin. You're probably going to find that your legs feel a bit different because they were doing different things. One was bent pressing into the table, one was straight and lifting up. So they're going to feel uh, different to each other in where they got the release. What you want to do is play the video back, repeat the sequence on the opposite side so you can uh, equal out the relaxation of both lower uh, both legs.